The novel coronavirus or COVID-19 is known to occur in the form of symptoms like fever, dry cough, shortness of breath, etc. This virus is transmitted through airborne droplets, in the air from an infected person or surface, into the mucous membranes of an individual's nose, mouth and eyes. The coronavirus have spiked proteins on its surface, that it uses to grab and penetrate through the outer walls, of human and animal cells. The genetic material of the virus, captures the metabolism of the cell and alters its functionality. It is as if the virus is telling the cell, don't do what you are supposed to do. Just, multiply the virus. The neighboring cells, get infected, as viruses begin to multiply, and infect the neighboring cells. So symptoms, begin with the onset of dry cough and sore throat. The virus then moves progressively, down to the bronchial tubes. When the virus reaches the lungs, their mucous membranes, suffer from inflammation. This can disrupt the alveoli, or lung sacs, and they have to work harder, to carry out their function of supplying oxygen for blood circulation, and removing carbon dioxide, from the blood for exhalation. Due to the swelling in the lung area and the restricted flow of oxygen, can cause the lungs to fill with fluid, pus and dead cells. This may lead to infection in the lung, called pneumonia. Due to troubled breathing, one may need ventilator support. When the situation becomes really bad, the patient may suffer from acute respiratory distress syndrome, wherein the lungs contain so much fluid, that no amount of breathing support is of much use, and death occurs. Do you know why when the outbreak started in Wuhan, the early cases were not detected and the disease began to spread easily? This is because the virus, starts appearing in the peripheral areas on both sides of the lung, and can take some time, to progress to the upper respiratory tract, the central airways and the trachea. In Wuhan, during the initial testing, the Chinese hospitals did not check the peripheral area of the lungs, so people with symptoms were sent home, without treatment. These people would either go to other hospitals, or stay home, go outside and infect other people. This is how the disease began to spread across China and then to the different parts of the world. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, Health Destination. Stay tuned for more videos in our series, Let's Beat COVID-19.